I've had a good run with Charlie Bigham's products over the years, so I wonder what this one's like. We'll find out today as we try his steak and ale fresh pastry pie. So we have tender British steak, slow cooked with smooth ale, encased in a handmade fresh pastry case. We're looking at a 33% beef content and the ingredients, like on a lot of Charlie Pickham's stuff, looks pretty good. There is however some sustainable palm oil just here. It's oven cook only, but I'm going to try air frying mine and I'll let you know how long it took. So here it is my friend straight out of the air fryer. Ended up doing it for 10 minutes on 190 and then 10 minutes on 180. Okay, let's take it out of its casing. Nice, easy slide. So we have this nicely colored lid. It has taken on a decent shade of brown. We have some mild scratch. The underside has also cooked nicely. Okay, let's open it up, see what's like inside. First thing I noticed was the smell. I could smell a little bit of ale, and the ale makes up 8% of this pie. As we look at this beef, we can see that it comes in nice chunks and if we try and pull it apart it yep it seems to come apart pretty well looks like a bit of quality beef to me and look at this fella with his two eyes nose and grin looking straight at us there's also a bit of carrot action hanging around again in nice size pieces and all that is swimming around in this rich, kind of medium, thick gravy. If we just press the fork into this bit of pastry, sounds a little bit crispy. There seems to be enough filling as well. Let's just pop that back in there. So it looks quite well packed. Overall, I have to say that this looks like one of the best pies that I've pulled off the shelves. I do like the addition of this bit of colour from the carrot. So I'm really looking forward to getting involved. I'm going to go straight in with some pastry meat and carrot. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, I say it like that because I expected a lot more flavour out of a Charlie product. It's a little bit sweet, maybe from the ale and the carrot. Um, pastry, couldn't really taste the pastry, but I've got, I've got some pastry over here on its own. This is a bit of the side pastry, which has a nice, nice few lines down it. Hmm. It's okay. It's a, a touch on the oily side for my liking. That is, 
I did see when I looked at the ingredients a bit further that there were some instances of rapeseed oil in here too. And here's some of the lid pastry. Mm. It has a little bit of flavour to it. But like I say, touch oily for my liking. Carrot. Now that was lovely. Slightly al dente and it was coated in that gravy. The gravy, that did taste pretty good actually. Let's see if I can just scoop a bit up onto the fork. Yeah, it's a nice thing. It takes a few herbs and spices in there. It's not hugely beefy. Uh, speaking of beef, there's a massive piece of beef over here. Look at that. That's quite the chunk. Be a good thing to check for gnarl. So let's do that right now. Um, It's a pretty good tasting piece of beef. I've had beefier tasting beef than that. There was a little bit of fat in there as well. I don't mind that though. It does add to the flavour quite immensely. I'm going to grab just a few more pieces of that steak to double check. Now yeah, there's nothing wrong with the steak. It is a nice cut and it's pretty juicy in your mouth as well. <clears throat> I wouldn't say it was melting mouth, but it is juicy. Okay, so the pastry is not really anything to write home about. The carrot is a really nice thing. Like I say, slightly al dente. There's only three pieces of carrot, so I think four or five would be better in there. There was no horrible bits in the meat. I think it could be a little bit better seasoned as well but the oiliness i don't like it on my lips and that but it has got a great flavor charlie bigham this time i'm going to give this product this particular product of yours a six out of ten to last bite mm -hmm. so charlie bigham's steak and ale fresh pastry pie it's a nice effort i gotta say but, you know, for the money, you can get cheaper steak and ale pies out there, which are just as satisfying. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time. Get out of here. We're looking good. Oh, and there's this, um, zzz, zzz. Ah. Overall, I have to say, this is looking lucky. Rarely, for me, I would actually select a different... Bah.